Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code problem number 1531, String Compression 2. And if it is very difficult for you to understand this problem, do try this problem, lead code problem number 72, that is edit distance. This is a quite similar problem, not exactly similar, but this will actually help you to understand this problem even better and help you to develop the intuition behind this problem. And this is a medium level problem. So you can give this problem a try first before actually trying to solve this problem. Now, what is the input of this problem? In this problem, two inputs are given. One is you are given a string and you are also given a value of k. Now, now this string can be rewritten or compressed like this. That is what is the occurrences of A, that is the consecutive occurrences A3, then there is only one B. So you need not write like this B1. It is not required to write like this if there is only one character. Now there are three C's and there is one D. So if you look here, what is the length of this compressed string? So the length is two six. So this is six. Now, what is the idea of this problem? The idea of this problem is you can delete two characters from this original string, right? So that, so that, so that this compressed string will actually have minimum length. So can we try to delete this B and this D and see what will be the remaining string? So the remaining string will be A, 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 C, C, C. So this can actually be rewritten as A3, C3. So if you look, what is the length of this? The length of this is equal to four. So this is what the problem is asking. And if you delete any other two characters, it will be having a length greater than four. Why is it so? Because these characters are occurring just once. And if you delete this C or this C, the C2 will still be there or A2 will still be there. So the idea is we delete this two characters. Now, similarly, there is one more. And here again, we are asked to delete two characters. If we delete this to be the answer will be a, 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 that is equal to a four and the length of this string two, and that will be our answer. And this is a very beautiful example. Again, once again, we'll be deleting this three characters, which will actually written a, 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 a. And if you are thinking, if you are thinking, why not delete the character with the minimum consecutive occurrences? For example, there is C here. So we deleted C first and then there are two consecutive characters B bin B. So let's delete like this. So is this the case every time? No, this might not be the case every time. So let's have A, A, B, right? So what will be the string? So A to B, right? So what if you delete this B? It will still be A2. Or you can also remove this A and you can also result in AB. So it is not necessarily always that you delete the one with the least number of occurrences. Or examples, let's take one more, say A, 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 and then there is B, B. And so this will be A3 and this will be B2. Now, we have to delete three characters. So again, we will be deleting these three characters resulting in this. So it is not necessary that you delete the characters with the minimum number of occurrences always. Now, in order to solve the problem, let's try to find out the brute force approach. Okay. So we have this string. We have this string. What is the idea? The idea is first, let's assume we are deleting this character. So if we delete this character, what happens to the remaining A, A, B? C, C, C and D. Now again, still we have to delete one more character. So say we delete this character A, B, C, 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 D and what will be the resulting A, B, C, 3, D and we have to try for all of them and finally we will be able to get the answer. But if you look at this, this is a very small string and the number of options for this, that is in this, we decided to remove the first character, but we can also decide to remove this and this. So in order to try all the possibilities, it will be a very lengthy approach. So this brute force approach is not something that we will be following, but this brute force approach helps us to arrive at one more intuition. So what is that? If you look here, 
if you look here for every character what is the choice that you are making at every step what is the choice that we are making one is you either decide to hold this that is you are not going to delete this but instead you are going to have this in the final string so option one is you are going to keep this or the second option is you are going to either delete this or discard this so for every character there are only two options so one is either to keep that particular character or delete that particular character and if you keep it you will go in a different route and if you delete it so we will be going in a different route so where is this leading us to this is leading us to dynamic programming why at every stop at every character we are making choices and each of these choices is leading us to different path and if you look here what happens if we keep this if we keep this the length of the string will be the same and the value of k will also be the same however if we delete this say for example we deleted this now what will be the new value of k the new value of k will be reduced by 1 so that the value of k will be getting reduced by 1 if we decide to delete that particular character and our future options will be as it is now keeping this in mind keeping this in mind let's draw a chart for this what is the initial thing so the initial is we are at this character we are at this character and what will be the value of k the value of k will be still be true because we have to delete two characters and and we need two more things right first let's do this bigger approach and let's go to the shorter approach right so we require two more things that is what is the previous character there is no previous character in this because this is the first character and what is the count of that previous character obviously it is zero so this will be the first call that we'll be making so after we have made the first call so we will be having two options here what are those two options one is we decide to delete this so if we decide to delete this what are the options so this zero no matter what will become one so in this case also it will become one why because we are going to the next character in this step however the value of k in this case get reduced to one in this case however it remains the same and in this case the previous string is still an empty string and the count is also equal to zero but in this case if you look the previous character will now be an a with a count of one now let's draw very quickly two more lines here so again we decide to include and not to include so if we decide not to include it will still go to 2 however the value of k will be 0 then there will be an empty string and the value of this count will also be equal to 0 now this is a very interesting step and if you look here let's write two more things so this will still be 2 the value of k will be 1 a then again 1 so here again once again if we decided to delete this 2 1 a 1 right then again if we delete uh, want to retain this true however 2a2 if you look here there is already some recurrence of the same thing right so now the important thing is when we come here so if you look here can we decide this path can we delete one more character from here no this path is gone for this particular string that is we decided to delete the first two characters and we cannot delete any more characters in this so there is only one path for this now however for any of the other options we can hold on to the string and finally we will be returning the answer so when do we return the answer so when do we return the answer there are two choices right so once we go to the next character once we go to the next character that is three one if you look here the next character will be a b so once you come at b now we have the option that is if we either include or delete however if we are including this if we are including this there has to be two changes one is we will change this previous character to b and we also change this count to one but more important than that you have to return to the previous step say for example the count of a came out to be one so what we have to return one why because a will be substituted to a however say there was a and 2 so a2 now what do we have to return to the previous step we have to return a2 
that is the length of this will be 2 however same in a different example say there was a and the count was 7 so what do we have to return to the previous step even now we have to just return 2 to the previous step not 3 not 7 but just 2 however if this was 10 only in this case you have to return a 3 similarly if this was 100 which is actually the last option in this particular exa uh, example or the limit of this problem so in that case you will be returning 4 these are the only 3 or 4 options that you will be returning to the previous step i hope you have understood this but but if you look here this is quite complicated why because at every step we are not passing one variable but we are passing four variables at every step now think about it and draw the observations and try if we can reduce from four variables to just two variables now let's quickly draw the observations that we have from this one is as soon as the value of k got reduced to zero what is it we just have one path that is we cannot reduce any further this is our first observation what is the second observation that is we are doing whenever there is a character change character change then then return the answer so this is the second thing that we have identified and if you look in this particular tree we'll be picking up the best option right so now can we change our way of thinking a little bit our way of thinking a little bit how do we change that so for example at every step we are passing this a and we are also passing the count instead instead can we do this say for example we are at the character one we are at the character one and if you look here we are going and analyzing two comma something three comma something four comma something and so on so on being at character one this is the tree that we will be leading into but can we make an assumption that say for example this is an a this is an a can we use the same thing that is if this is one if this is one and we are going to this subtrace can we make an assumption that we will be continuing with this a that is the first assumption that will be continuing with this a so we will remove this particular character under the assumption that will be continuing with this a that is the first assumption however however if you want to delete or say for example we went to a b we into we went to b so for example this is the fourth index and that's a b now now can you continue a no right so then there is only one option at this point that is we will not be including this b now if you are not including this b how many characters can we delete so one and two say for example a a a a b c c c now say you are at this character you said okay 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 and you went to this point we went to this point can you skip this and delete this and go to next yes can you delete this skip this and go to next yes but now can you delete this and go to next assuming that a is the previous character no this cannot be done why this cannot be done because we have already deleted two characters which are not equal to an a so this point is the final point for this a after this we cannot assume that a will still be our previous character so having said that let's just do with the value of the index and the value of k now once again there are two options that is you will not be including it when you are not including it it is very straightforward that is we go to the next index and the value of k will be reduced by one right so now again if you are planning to include this once again we are going to the next index but the value of k will remain the same now the important point is which is the starting index it is still a now again once again if you go here it will be 2 comma 2 then 2 comma 3 since it is a we can still continue and this i will not be writing everything so this will be 3 comma 3 the important step occurs when you encounter when you encounter 4 comma 3 now now 4 comma 3 this this b once you encounter this b now you have to make a choice what is that choice if you are saying that i will include a b if you are saying that i will include a b this a that we are coming up with we the assumption that a was our previous character will be gone and you have to go into a new tree 
However, if you are saying that I will be deleting this character B, then yes, you can continue under the assumption that we'll be going on with A, but the maximum you can go is these three characters. So you'll be deleting this and once again you encounter an A, so that won't cause any problem. Now, you there might be a little confusion at this point, but if you look at the pseudo code of this problem, it will be very easy. Now, since there were many repetitive states, what we'll be doing, we will be having a DP. Uh, array uh, where we'll be saving the values and initially we'll be having all the values as minus one and this is our recursive function and what are we passing to the recursive function what is the value of i that is the index under consideration and the value of k and this is the string that we'll be passing at every step now if the value of k is less than zero what does it mean it means that we have exhausted everything. In that case, we will be returning the maximum. You can also return integer dot max value or I am returning n in this case. However, if we are in a position where we can actually delete all the future strings, that is B, C, D, you are already at say B, C, D, A, A, you are already at this D and K is equal to say four. Now it doesn't make sense, right? You can delete all the characters so you can return a zero straight away. Now. The next thing is you will have the answer as dp of i comma k and you will be changing this in the further step. How you will be changing if it is minus one, if it is minus one, then you have to change it. However, if it is not equal to minus one, in that case, you will be returning the answer, which means you have already pre-computed this. So there is no need to uh, compute this once again. Now, the main logic of this question is here. What is this thing? This is the length. This is the length. This is not the length. This is not the length. Say, for example, there was a, a, a. So what is it giving? 3a. So in order to track the length of this string, or you can make this as answer length, right? So in order to keep track of this, we are using this length. Say, for example, there were 9a. So you'll not be returning 9 in this. So this is what you'll be returning. That is 2. And we have the same character and different characters. So if you look at this, if we have the same character, what we will be doing, we will be increasing the count of the same character. And, and if you look here, we are also just like we discussed, if it becomes 10a, the length of this increases. So that is what we are doing in this step. However, if it is a different character, say for example, we were all this time dealing with an a, but now we are dealing with a b. Now, now we will increase the difference. Why? Because we cannot go under the assumption that we are still dealing with an A without deleting this character. So here, what we will be doing, we will be increasing the difference. And if you look here, we are calculating the value of K accordingly. That is, if we encountered a B, we are reducing the value of K. That is for sure with the assumption that this is A, we are deleting this character. You might be wondering, what if there is a k we have to include this a and this b don't worry this will be covered in a different case where we directly command this b so there is no need to worry about that particular condition so after that finally we will be choosing an option which will have the minimum of all of them and we will be storing that value in dp of i comma j and finally we will be returning the answer and at this step this will be returning the entire answer. And there are a few similar problems which you can solve in order to understand this concept even better. And these two are medium level problems and these two are hard level problems. If you are very confident, please do try solving these two problems. This will actually help you develop very strong intuition towards dynamic programming. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe.